India and jute have a long and rich history, one that dates back to the British era, but it's never become a commercial success, mostly because jute was a tough sell. It is scruffy and hard to work with, but today there is a jute renaissance happening around the world. It is emerging as a viable alternative to plastic and synthetic materials. For India, this could mean a great business opportunity. Jute is back and how. From the boutiques of Christian Dior to royal weddings, the scruffy fabric is now a hot favorite. Jute bags, jute rugs and even jute clothes. What does this jute renaissance mean for India? A business opportunity like no other. The state of West Bengal is India's jute producing capital. Around 70 factories operate here, some of which date back to the British era. Centuries have passed, but machinery and production methods haven't changed. The maintenance of the jute mills has been neglected in a big way. Because of this, we could not produce good yarn or fabric. And because of this, the industry has suffered. The potential is there. The world desperately needs an alternative to plastic and jute is the perfect candidate. Experts say jute bag industry will be worth $3 billion by 2024. One hectare of jute plant captures 15 tons of carbon dioxide. It also releases 11 tons of oxygen. This is during one sowing cycle. few years back, when there was a huge actually entry of plastics and synthetics in every country. And that was the great setback for jute factor because uh, that was cheaper and people are easily using that. But when we are now concerning about the environmental degradation, because after entry, a lot of synthetics and plastics, now everywhere the water bodies, the soil are getting polluted. Jute's brand has been boosted by top fashion houses. Dior is making jute sandals. Meghan Markle once showed off her jute footwear. The question is, how can India capitalize on this craze? Experts have two suggestions. One is the upgradation of the skill of the people. People should be oriented in that way so that they are trained to produce these type of products. And another is the upgradation of machineries. So two upgradation is must. Look at this factory and you realize what the problem is. Outdated techniques, machines wasting away and a lack of innovation. Slowly but surely, the factory owners are realizing their potential. They are trying to upgrade technology and hire more skilled workers. Even the government is pitching in. Their new rule requires all grains and 20% of sugar to be packed in jute sacks. It's a good start, but it only scratches at the surface of what's possible. The whole world wants to use jute. They want to make clothes, bags, carpets and lamps. And the best part is, India has had a 300-year head start. South Asia Bureau, we on, world is one.